welcome back to Fabulously 40s. And as most of you guys know, last weekend my husband and I and two of our friends visited Asheville, North Carolina, where we toured the Biltmore um, estate, which was absolutely magnificent. We had such a wonderful time uh, with our friends, laughing, making memories, and just having a wonderful, wonderful time away doing something different. Um, and then we shopped and ate and we ate some more and we toured the gardens. It was a wonderful time. We also went to Black Mountain, North Carolina, which is about 30 minutes or so away from Asheville, where we enjoyed a concert um, that uh, was by Captain Midnight, which was awesome band. They were really, really good. Uh, my neighbor is actually in in a band and he knows these people so we went and watched them play or perform I guess you could say on Friday night and before then we went and had pizza we shopped around the little town of Black Mountain and that's where I picked up a few of my things that I'm going to share with you now and these are not really going to be I'm going to try to do them in order but I can't remember sometimes what I where I bought them or what order they were in so I'm going to start off with the first thing that I can remember this is from a little store called Euro Europa, Europa, find gifts from Europe and America. So Europa. So this is from Europa, and this was a, a like a Swedish shop or like an, a European store, I guess you could say. And um, <clears throat> I saw these little eggs, and I thought that was so cute that they like give them to you in these the little egg containers. Anyway, so I picked up three different eggs, and um, which I absolutely love, and I'm just gonna like leave these out for display. These are such cute little eggs. So I got the white one with the red flowers on it. Um, I got a blue one that is decorated, like super, super cute and pretty. I love these, how cute were these? And these were um, $3.99 each, or four for 12, or something like that, I can't remember, but anyway. So I only picked up three, because I didn't have any other ones that I really liked. But these are just the three little eggs that I picked up, and um, I just thought they were super, super cute. Um, and if any of you guys are ever interested, it's www.eurofindgifts, europafindgifts.com, and I will leave the link below as well in my description. So um, that's one thing that I picked up at that little store. Um, the next thing that I picked up was, let's see, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep these in as much order as I possibly can. When we were shopping around at another little store, um, in town there in Asheville, actually downtown Asheville. I think it was downtown Asheville. Can't remember. But anyway, nonetheless, um, we went into like a honey store and my husband kind of already opened this up because he wanted to look at it. Um, anyway, this is a honey and syrup dispenser and I thought it was so cute because they were actually using these in the um, store to show as display and then so you could also sample all the different honeys that they had in the store. Um, but it's such a cute little design and um, so I thought I wanted to, I thought to get one, so we got one. Anyway, you just kind of pour the um, honey inside this little dispenser here, and then when you're ready to pour it out, you just pour it like this, but it just sits in this little jar, just like this, and it displays your honey. And I thought it was just so cute because it's shaped like a little honeycomb design on it, and it's just such a simple little, you know, click of the button, and you can just pour your honey in. So I thought that was super, super cute. And I got that at... Asheville Bee Charmer store. So that is from the Asheville Bee Charmer store. So cute, love it. So I can't wait to put honey in it and start using it. Alrighty, the uh, next thing that I picked up was actually at the Biltmore estate itself. And I picked up just a jar of their Biltmore strawberry rhubarb preserve honey, or pff, rhubarb preserves jelly. And um, I always like, um, I'm not like a big jelly fan, but I do like strawberry preserves and I do like strawberry jelly. Whoops, just dropped one. Anyway, uh, so I wanted to try their um, strawberry rhubarb and my husband likes rhubarb. So I thought we'd give this a, a try. This was like $6.50 at the Billmore Estate. And I think that was the only thing that I purchased at the Billmore, Biltmore itself, except for our bottle of wine, which I forgot to bring in here, but I did purchase a bottle of wine from 
excuse me, from the winery um, that we were wine tasting at. Okay, then uh, the next thing that we, the next place that we stopped off at, which was on our way home on Sunday, we stopped off at Nora Mills Mall in, or Nora Mills Grist Mill in Helen, Georgia. And if you guys aren't familiar with Helen, Georgia, there's just a bunch of cute little tiny shops up there, and you can stop and walk around little antique stores, coffee shops, and little pastry shops. Really, really fun place to go um, if you're interested in that type of thing. So we stopped off there on our way home the other day. We stopped off at the mill, and I picked up these um, this crusty French bread mix, and you just the recipe is on the back. And it's just uh, one cup of warm water and one packet of yeast, and there you have it. So, and if you have a bread machine, layer the mix, water yeast according to instructions for your bread machine. Machine, um, use white bread setting, and then they give you like a hand method as well. So I'm gonna give this to try because I really like um, French breads. So you can like dip them in like the oils and stuff. And then my husband um, really loves blueberry muffins. Well, we both do, but he's like on a kick of blueberry muffins. So I thought I would go ahead and pick up this wild blueberry muffin and pancake mix from Nora Mill Granary. And that's noramill.com if you, anybody's ever interested. Um, but this, it gives the um, instructions of the recipe on the back. And then there's a can of blueberries in here and then the mix is in here as well. So it's just really, you just kind of throw it together and you have blueberry muffins. And I'll be doing that so I'll share with you guys when I make these blueberry muffins. And then what else I picked up at that, um, the Nora Mill Granary and Country Store was this all natural gluten free apple cinnamon jelly. And this is what I had this morning on my toast and it was actually really good. It's very, very rich and sweet. So um, you kind of just need a little bit, but um, it was good and you could tell I kind of used a little bit of it this morning And like I said before it smelled like it smells like honey when I opened it up this morning and tasted it The first thing I thought of was it tastes and smells just like honey But um, but when you do taste it though, it does have that apple-y taste to it with the cinnamon in there But it sure does smell like honey Anyway, and then lastly, what I picked up from that little area too, we went to another store that was kind of right next door to the grist mill, was um, just a little store that had cheeses and crackers and that type of thing. So I picked up, because they were giving out samples and I tried the cheese. So I picked up this cheese, which is imported from uh, Sweden, she said, and I've already unwrapped it because I had a couple of crackers yesterday with it, um, so I cut my cheese off. But anyway, this is just a, a block of cheese. Um, you guys will probably see that in my video as well if you guys watch that. Um, and then they put them on these little crackers, which are these Cavli crispy thin, 50 calories, zero total fat, two grams of fiber um, crackers. And like I said, I opened these up yesterday because I had some with my cheese. And then I'm going to go get that bottle of wine so I can actually show it to you guys. Alrighty, so when we were at the winery the other day at the Biltmore, we did a wine tasting, which was absolutely, it was so much fun. I really enjoyed myself. I am not a big wine drinker. Um, I prefer just to either have water, um, a Coke, if I'm into that right, you know, then um, if I'm wanting a Coke or something, I don't have Cokes every single day, just every once in a great while, but most of the time I drink water. Um, but I do like to have a couple of mixed drinks from time to time. I am not a wine drinker. Um, but when they were doing the wine tasting, obviously I wanted to try some wine as well and do the wine tasting again. If you guys watch my videos, you guys will see that I was doing the wine tasting. And that my favorite one was the limited release of the Biltmore Rose Wine, um, and a rosé, excuse me, the rosé wine. And this one was actually super, super good. It was soft on my palate. It had a really nice, fresh taste to it. It didn't have that wine taste to it where, I don't know, there's something about the wine that just is, it's like a bitter to me and it just, ugh, I don't like it at all. But this one was absolutely phenomenal. So we bought this wine, I think it was like $13.99 or $13 or something like that. Or $12.99, $13 or $14. Nonetheless, we bought it, it was good. Um, so I'm excited to actually kind of have a sip of this from time to time. But I thought it was also really, really pretty too. Obviously, I'm going to keep the bottle once it's empty. But it has the Biltmore Estate like on the front and the pretty flowers. And so I really, really enjoyed that. 
So, there you guys have it. There is my quick little haul of the things that I picked up while we were visiting Asheville, North Carolina last weekend. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Be sure to share it with someone that you know might like it as well. And if you guys haven't watched any of my videos yet from my trip to the Biltmore last weekend, they are up on my YouTube channel right now. Just keep following along and you will be able to see them in my playlist down there. So thanks again for watching, guys. Stay fabulous. Talk to you soon. Bye.